Welcome. All right, uh, so what I have here, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm going to show you how to sketch the graph 7 pi over 6. <clears throat> Sounds pretty fun, right? All right, so 7 pi over 6, uh, when I'm looking into graphing this, so, so far we've, you know, and I've talked about sketching angles. Um, it's been very important that we understand that our initial ray, our initial um, ray is going to be at that point, which we call in our standard position. Then we're going to rotate our ray. And remember, if we rotate counterclockwise, that's the positive direction. Um, clockwise, counterclockwise is positive, and counterclockwise is going to be in the negative direction. Since this is positive, we're going to go in the counterclockwise direction. We need to understand that halfway around the circle is pi radians, meaning the distance of our radius wrapped around our circle is going to go around there pi times. So halfway around the circle is pi, but you can see that 7 pi over 6, that's an improper fraction, right? 7 pi over 6 is greater than a whole. So if we treat pi as a whole, we could treat it as the same denominator as 6 pi over 6, correct? Right? Think of pi as a whole. 7 pi over 6 means you have something greater than pi. So our angle is going to be larger than halfway around a circle. So to determine how large it's going to be, what I like to do is the reason why I like to 6 pi over 6 is because I want to break this up into thirds. So if I actually break that up into thirds, you can see that now, well, here it is in a thirds. So now I can break it up into 6, right? Where this is 1 pi over 6, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi. But I want to get to 7 pi over 6. So what I'll do. is I'll break this area up into 6 as well. And you can see that from here, that's 6 pi over 6. And then to go one more 6 would be 7 pi over 6. So therefore, that's going to be my initial ray. And this will be my terminal ray. All right, And therefore, that's my angle in the measurement of 7 pi over 6. Thanks.